Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Knights in White Satin as recorded by the Moody Blues on guitar. Now this is an incredible song in the key of E minor, and I'm going to show you a main acoustic guitar part that goes through the entire song. And this is going to be great to work on your strumming in a 6-8 time signature. And this guitar part is going to sound awesome for singing along with or playing behind a singer. Before we dive into it though, I want to hook you up with something right away. At the first link down below, I've got a free PDF soloing guidebook. And this is a book I wrote that's going to show you how to play solos over major, minor, and dominant chords and really help you learn the neck in a new way. And with the book, you'll even get over a hundred audio examples that you can download for each example in the book. So you'll have tabs, sheet music, and then also the audio download so you can put it all together. So grab your free download as my gift to you. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash free book, or you could use the first link down below. All right, well, with that said, let's dive into this song lesson. Let's break down how to play Knights in White Satin as recorded by the Moody Blues on guitar. Now I'm going to show you this main acoustic guitar part that's in a 6-8 time signature. We're going to start off with the intro. It's four bars long and just uses two chords. Here's what it sounds like. Then we start the verse right there, knights in white satin, the lyrics come in. So what I'm playing is two shapes and then a little slide in between them. So I'm playing E minor. This is just your standard E minor chord. Open, two, two, open, 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 all six strings. Then I go to a D add nine over F sharp, which sounds fancy, but don't worry, it's not too hard. We're gonna take our typical D chord and we're gonna play, I'll show you this from the fourth string down first. So open, two, three, but instead of having that two, like we normally would in a D chord, we're gonna leave that string open, which gives us that add nine or sus two kind of sound. Then we're gonna put our thumb on the low E string second fret. Now, if you're not used to using your thumb, you can play this chord like this with index, uh, middle, and then ring. That's another way of playing it. But I use the thumb. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, change to four, five, six, a so one, two. That's the basic progression there to start off the intro. Now, if you want to add a little bit of flavor in there, that's a little move that happens on the E minor. So what I did there was basically take the E minor, and then I kind of just strum the top four strings. So two, two, open, open, open. And I slide that finger up to the fourth fret. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, one. So it's on beat four that you slide up. One, two, Five, six, one, two, three, four, and then just stay on the D. One, two, three, slide, D. Okay, now with the strumming pattern, the basic feel is like. It's one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and. So I'm going down, down, up, down, up. It's basically the, the rhythm pattern, and then it just copy paste. So there's two of those per bar, one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and, or down, down, up, down, up, then again, down, down, up, down, up, and that's one bar, or six counts. So all together, it's gonna go one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one, two. Then we start the verse. Nights in white satin Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so we've got an eight bar chord progression here for the verse, and it's played two times. We're gonna start out just like our intro, but we'll leave off the slides. So we'll just go E minor, D add nine over F sharp, then again. Then I go to a C chord, but I put the G in the bass. 
So this is gonna be all six strings. It's a very strong sound, I love this chord. Three, three, two, open, one, open. Just listen how strong that sounds. And you get to play all six strings. Then I go to G, and I play this folk style G, just third finger here, mute the fifth string, then open, 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 three. Then to F, that's just a typical F bar chord, but I play it with my thumb like this, so one, three, three, two, one, one. Then E minor. Then that repeats. And we'll keep that same strumming pattern, the one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and going through this whole song pretty much till we get to the bridge where we little do a little arpeggiation, but I'll cover that in a second. So here's the whole verse again on the repeat. Da -da -da. Then we go to this chorus part, which is Cause I Love You is the lyric cue, and that goes like this. We've got another eight bar section here for the chorus or the B section, whatever you want to call it. So here, again, the lyric cue is because I love you. We go to A major, just sort of like a little tonal shift here. And I'm just playing that with one finger, just, but you can play any A you want. You know, I, I would recommend just copying me though. So playing from the fifth string down, open two, two, two. Then I'm muting high E and low E. Two bars of that, then to C over G. Then we do like our intro chord progression, or the first part of the verse, just E minor. D add nine over F sharp. E minor. D add nine over F sharp, okay? Then we repeat back and do, uh, we repeat back to the verse and do everything again. So the verse progression, which is eight bars, that goes two times. Then we go to the B section, the chorus, cause I love you. Okay, the second time after the second chorus. Okay, we, we add one extra bar of E minor. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Okay, we have a little break there, and then we go to the flute solo. Now the flute solo goes to a slightly different progression, and we do a little bit more arpeggio picking with the strum hand. Here's what it sounds like. This is the first eight bars. We've got a little bit of a sort of walk down progression, but the bass motion walks up. It's interesting. So E minor, then we go to D, add nine over F sharp, then C over G, or you can play C if you want, but I like the C over G, and then B7. So that's from the fifth string down, two, one, two, open two. Now here I'm I'm gonna pick the strings a little bit more. So instead of I'm gonna go. I'm still thinking one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and and it's just really random. But I usually start with the bass note. Just adds a little bit different texture here for the flute solo. Okay, after the second time, we go on to another eight bars. Here we play. And here we start building. And then we go into that last section, which is really epic. So 
Uh, this second part of the flute solo, the next eight bars goes E minor, C over G. And again, E minor, C over G. Then you go A minor to B7, A minor to B7. Now A minor is from the fifth string down, just open, two, two, one, open. And I'm keeping that arpeggio picking going, but in the last two bars I go, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I just do all downs, six strums. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Okay, so here's the second part of the flute solo. Last part. Let me go back to the verse. Nights in white satin. Okay, so what I played for the final part, seven bars long, it's E minor, D over F sharp. Then C, that's the first three bars. Then you just alternate E minor, D, E minor, D, a bar each, so. Okay, then we go back, we do the verse again, and we do the chorus, the Cause I Love You. Now the final part ends with a double chorus. So you play the chorus two times, you have an E minor in between those double choruses, and then you just end on a big E minor chord. Congrats on making it through this incredible Moody Blues song. Be sure to take it slow, work out each part so you have the verse, the chorus, and then that sort of interlude, the flute solo. And then as you get each part comfortable, put it together and try and play it along with the recording. And remember to keep thinking about that six, eight count, one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and that's going through the whole song and that'll help you stay on track. Before you go, don't forget to download my free guitar book at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you how to unlock the fretboard and start learning how to solo over major, minor, and dominant chords. And you'll even get some audio examples that go along with the book that you can download as well. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash free book or use the first link down below to grab your copy. Also, let me know down below your number one song that you would like to see me teach here next on the channel. Just comment it down below. Thanks for your support with the videos and we'll see you in another one real soon.